Hi, I'm Caitlin Gomez here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio coming to you live from San Diego, California. And I'm here with Andy Finkelstein from the Sabre SBP Global Accounts. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. And first and foremost, I have to say a huge thank you to Sabre for sponsoring our broadcast studio because we would not be here without you. Happy and, to do it. And it's my the most fun I have at conventions, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great. personal fan. But so talk to me about Sabre's vision and strategy for corporate accounts. You bet. Um, look, we have a really rich history uh, serving the corporate market directly, both through our transactional GDS relationships, but as well through our Get There product and related suite of products. Um, and so we want to just continue to expand on that legacy and, and kind of sharpen our focus a bit on our corporate business. And, and what that means is you know, both doubling down on the, the current products that we have and continued investment in those, uh, but we need to branch out and look at other niche solutions that are out there that we might want to contemplate adding to our portfolio over time. And we can do that through you know, build, buy, partner. Um, luckily, we're approaching our, our, our platform, with, you know, our, our strategy with a platform approach. And that allows us to quickly integrate different providers and niche solutions without having to build everything on our own. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's that's really important. And and as we make progress against that, you know, really important is just to stop and listen to our customers. Um, you know, one of the things we're doing is just relaunching some of our user forums. Uh, we're working with the Festive Road team and conducting some customer insight Great sessions. Um, so really wanting to just stop and listen to what is on the mind of our corporate buyers and and how do we help them achieve their objectives. And if we're listening and if we execute on that, then we'll all be successful. And so that's how we're approaching it. I think you'll, you'll find most people just want to be heard, right? It's, it's amazing just doing that and how, how much credit you get just for listening. Now, we and don't really want to, listening. Yeah, right. And, and we don't want to stop there, right? It's important to listen, but then we need to then start Go to execute and against action. that and, and make, you know, show tangible proof, you know, mm -hmm. as, as we move forward. So that's what we're going to do. So along those lines, what do you think are the is the real value to end-to-end -end travel program solution? Well, there's no doubt there's value in it. Mm -hmm. um, the question is how a corporate travel program leader will stitch all those things together. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a single provider. And in fact, I would argue uh, you might be sub-optimized if you do that. There's just so many interesting things happening in the marketplace right now it's uh, that it would so be quickly. yeah that it would be very hard for a single provider to serve all of your needs. Um, so there's clear value in the integration, though, um, in being able to pass data and, and analytics, you know, through the different elements of the workflow, ultimately coming out of the back end with some good insights and helping a program leader optimize their spend. And so that's the way we think about it. And again, as I referenced, our platform strategy is very conducive to that mm -hmm. um, and allows us to quickly integrate those things. And so we feel like we're in a good position and, and look to expand our platform in that same way. So we're all about momentum here this week. And yep. so what do you think are some of the emerging business travel trends that people should be watching out for? You know, there's a, there's a long list, and, and many of them have been spoken about for quite some time. Consumerization, personalization, um, leisure travel, um, you know, all of the new sharing economies and how, how might a travel leader, you know, think about those in, in the course of their, of, of their program. Um, one of the things that is clearly emerging and everybody's talking about is NDC. Mm -hmm. And um, we're at the forefront of developing solutions you know, it, within the NDC, NDC standards and bringing those into the marketplace. That has great promise of, again, more personalized offers, unique content, better fares, unique bundles, um, better insights for cost control, but it also comes with a lot of complexity. Yeah. And, um, we're really trying to help our corporate buyers get educated on what NDC means for them. Mm -hmm. All of the different policy considerations that might come about by needing to have guidelines for those unique offers for ancillaries. Yeah. Um, you know, how do they maintain visibility to their supplier data and program spend in a way that's actionable? Mm -hmm. Even going so you know, fundamental as knowing the conversations that need to take place between their GDS partners, their OBT partners, their airline partners, and, and helping inform that. So we think we have a really big role to play in that space, Absolutely. given our leadership on the technology front, mm -hmm. and uh, anxious to work with our corporate buyers to help educate them. We're in fact uh, hosting a session later this week, uh, calling an NDC showcase uh, at our booth, and we'll be talking to our corporate customers in a more consultative approach about mm -hmm. the types of things that they should be considering mm -hmm. 
uh, as NBC comes to fruition later this year and, and probably evolving candidly over the next several years. So looking forward to that. I may just stop by that one. Yeah, <laughs> come by. There's champagne toast. <laughs> no, I'm definitely stopping by. That's my love language. Good. So thank you so much for stopping by. It's thank been you such for a pleasure. Us. And again, thank you for sponsoring. You bet. Thanks. I'm Caitlin Gomez. Till next time, bye from the Barbcast Studio.